Hey, so welcome to another short video tutorial, of course, I should say Premiere Pro. And we're gonna show you how to customize the template we upload to the site. Make sure to check the links down below the video in the description for the download. Of course, as always, it's free. I created an After Effects. It's only for version 2018, 12.1.2, and also for the 2017, 11.1. Make sure if you have that version so you can uh, be ready to go and use it. Let me go ahead and show you the folder. Okay, so when you download, you will have those three files in the folder called Corporate Low Center, Neta Corporate Ellen, Left and Right Title Container, Corporate Template Presentation, of course. And I have videos how to install in Premiere Pro 2018 and 2017. Make sure to check. Of course, the link will be in the description. And let me go ahead and pull up Premiere Pro. Okay, as you see, this is my Premiere Pro 2018. Uh, as you might see, I have a little bit different than yours, so make sure, you know, I have in the graphic workspace and in case you don't have this so you can just go ahead and make sure at the window make sure the central graphic panel is checked or just if you're using the 2018 just make sure to click the graphic workspace I mean and you will have this as my workspace of course and as you see I already have my libraries of course I have video how to create libraries delete libraries and insert of course having different and separate libraries of course Make sure to check the videos, of course, on my YouTube channel for English and Spanish. And as you know, we will have this basically, as I say, three files, which is this, this, and this. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this down. I already have my main composition, which is, you know, 1920 uh, by 1080, 30 frames per second. Let me zoom in a little bit so we can go ahead and make sure select. Sometimes it takes a little bit to load. And you will have this kind of like confusing, but don't worry, make sure select, go to Essential Graphics Panel, and you will see the options or the parameters where we can play around. Let me go ahead and uncheck all the right side. We're going to go and make sure work with the left side, of course. And also we're going to go ahead and make sure look for this uh, right transition, make sure the opacity goes all the way down to the left, I mean to the zero. And then we can have this. Let me go ahead and make sure right click and rename this as mask and also we're gonna go make sure go back to edit and we're gonna go and make sure take off all the parameters basically the number and the stroke just leave the mask and also the background we can go ahead and just put zero percent and we will have just this kind of like purple color once we have this we need to go ahead and make sure select and drag this right there on the four layer for this make sure to follow the steps you know and then we can go ahead in my image composition I'm gonna go ahead and and you know create another image so you can see how we can customize those templates in case you're using video you don't have to do this so let me go ahead and make sure create a new IMG 1001 you know the same uh, you know values or and then we can go ahead and make sure pull the image. Uh, what I'm gonna use is maybe I think this one again. So let me go ahead and pull this basically. Let me just pull this down and make sure I have 10 seconds long. I like that as always, you know, 10 seconds long. So let me go ahead and make sure fit and come going to effect control. Scale down just to fit the screen, you know. And then we can go ahead and zoom in, you know, let me go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and animate two seconds. So let me go back and make sure selected, go to an add, uh, you know, keyframe position, go back to zero frames and add another keyframe, pulling the, you know, the image to the right, holding on shift, I mean to the left in this case. And we will have this basically. I'm going to go ahead and smooth out the animation. I have videos, you know, how to smooth also the uh, animations uh, you know are smooth of course in Premiere so let me go ahead and pull this out for now and don't forget to put back in I mean back those uh, keyframes so I'm gonna go ahead and pull those points so you know right there so we can smooth out as I say the animation and then we can go and back those to the place that we had before let me just uh, close this whole I mean hitting the tilde key that's the hard key on the keyboard of course and we will have this basically and then I'm going to go ahead and close this and make sure pull this into the timeline, you know, and this is what we have. And then once 
we have this on the timeline go to effect and look for the favorite track mat you know and double click of course make sure the image is selected and then we can go ahead actually let me go ahead and see double click and then we can see and we have in the video 4 and this is what we have and once we have this we can go ahead back to the library you know when you download of course and then pull this down again and this is what we have basically we don't see anything just wait to load and make sure to go the same thing it's not showing this is kind of like headache for me for premiere so let me go back and hit any workspace and then go back to uh, screen and you will have back those parameters where we can customize and as you know we can just turn off all the rights and also the what else that's it and also of course the transition or the background and this is what we have and so i'm gonna just go ahead and have the same color that we have in the previous so which is this i'm gonna have you know black and also the opacity a little, a little bit down and that's the of course we had in the preview and also this stroke i'm gonna go ahead and as you see we got this stroke make sure if you work in the left all of them are markers the left number color as you see the l and then make sure to change the colors i'm gonna go ahead and have different color in case you might have different color of course you can choose and also we can go ahead and change the color number uh, you know so i'm gonna go ahead and have a white and once we have this we need to go ahead and make sure everything is running smooth and then we can go ahead to the library and just pull this content you know this uh, content text content or paragraph content as i said make sure to wait a little bit to load once it loads you know let me go ahead and see we got this to the right and left so the same thing we can go ahead and make sure essential graphics edit and just say take off all the right side you know right side and just leave the left and also we're gonna go ahead and change the same color that we have of stroke and we will have this basically you see nice and also as you know as always you can change the title the text and the paragraph numbers and the colors and also we can slide to the left and the right you know and also you can scale the text or some of the items and okay once we have this we can see we need to go ahead and make sure to see when this animation ends we can pull this in so i'm gonna go ahead and pull this let me just zoom in a little bit so we can see better and make sure maybe right there and this is what we have of course nice okay once we have this we need to go and select all those four layers and pre-compose actually you know what before actually yeah let me go ahead and nest the camp and i'm gonna call this holder one okay and click ok and we have this basically of course if you want the left side so you have to do the same thing make sure let me just go ahead and side and show you so make sure you know when you're working with the left uh, i mean right side so let me just make i mean you know make sure to uncheck the left side uh, items and just keep the right so you will have the same effect but from the left of course let me close this again and as i said once we have this so we got the right so i'm gonna go ahead in case you want to have a multiple left or right the only option you know to speed up your work is duplicating so let me go ahead and make sure the holder once created go to project and i'm gonna go ahead right click and duplicate this holder and call holder 2. beautiful once we have this we need to pull into the timeline let me go ahead and make sure leave i mean go four seconds and move you know to four seconds and basically we got to the same you know same image same animation actually yep actually you know what actually i have a different image already for some reason no it's the same yeah same image okay let me double click inside this holder two and i'm gonna go ahead and duplicate the image so we, you can animate the same i did you know from the left to right in case you're working from the right to left so you have to animate the image the same way and let me go ahead and duplicate this image i think i already created an image so i'm gonna go ahead once you create the image and animate so of course doing the same i did with the image 001 so i'm gonna go ahead and hold in a down option just uh, replace it as you see and this is what we have so if we go back to main we will have this different image and go and here we got different image 
you see it's kind of like the same but it's different of course different image okay so how do I have the effect that we have in here basically let me show you what I'm talking about you see this effect you see so I'm gonna go ahead and let me close this basically so I'm gonna show you how to create that effect so let me go ahead inside the uh, you know image um, of course holder one what we can do in here is select the image and the mask and right click nest camp and say mask one you know just click ok and we have this mask and then we can go ahead and duplicate holding the option and we will have two masks but nothing happens let me go 10 seconds long and pull actually not seconds let me go 10 frames not seconds I'm sorry and then we pull this and we will have this effect so if we go back to the main we will have this effect look you see what I'm talking about the same image but kind of like you know, gives a nice and different effect and the same thing we can go inside the holder 2 you know you know make sure select make sure next cam say mask 2 in this case because I already have 2 and then duplicate holding an option go 10 frames of course and move back this if we go back to the main so we will have the same thing you know this one and the same thing this one you know so that's the way and create a multiple of these holders just duplicate in case you go and do the left side of course you have to do the same thing just duplicate that's the way to create that whole I think I don't I don't think it's uh, necessary to go and create more because it's the same process you know and just the spending time it's not worth you know anyway so as I said make sure you know to check uh, all my tutorials and you know how to install and create libraries delete libraries and you know and Premiere Pro 2017 and 2018 of course and this is what we have so at the end you will have the as I said you know this let me show you once let me play and see so you will have that actually the logo so I forgot to show you the logo basically it's nothing fancy let me go ahead and minimize this actually let me just go and close this so the logo basically what I did is just move those uh, two holders a little bit you know and also just go to the browser or libraries in this case and just pull this which is the logo so and the logo basically is the same thing go make sure selected and go to edit actually and you know some recent premiere gives that kind of like really headache you know and doesn't show at the beginning this uh, option edit so you can you have to go and click any of the workspace and go back to the graphics and you will have this option anyway and here we got this basically the logo so we can go ahead and make sure change the color as well you know take the let me just see actually the logo this is the logo you can type should have somewhere the text that you can type anything your logo or you know and also the uh, this we can pull this down the transparent a little bit and the mask actually mask color so we can just take that out and you will have the same that I have in the preview basically kind of like fast you know and quick so we can just cut right there actually you no know, move where the animation ends kind of like right there and we can just pull those uh, right there so we will have the logo starts for the two seconds goes out and comes the other behind you know and so you know you can change the uh, of course the uh, low of course you can change any any color you like so I'm gonna go ahead and change the same you know we had in the and that's all you know you can change also the color of text and that we will have of course so make sure to check out as I say the links uh, down below the description and make sure to subscribe to my two YouTube channels which is English and Spanish of course and also visit my Facebook page and also the Twitter and make sure to keep in tune for the next tutorial of course next week we work in project for premiere of course templates a lot of more templates and make sure to check out and you know and see you next time